What's going on? This is the Southern Fried Yankee. Um, I made some poor man's brim flies. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick video and try to do it as best as I can. Just forgive me because it's going to be a little weird trying to do this. Basically, this is just like a little glow in the dark. Um jig swimmer on I think it's like a 132nd head maybe a 164 head and uh I had some um <clears throat> sorry I had some extra uh bass um bass skirts laying around so all I did was I I popped off a bunch like maybe like Three, four, five of these things. You can't use too many, otherwise it won't pull through good. But basically, I just I pulled off a few of those. Whoops, that's too many. Well, whatever. And um, and this needle that I'm using, it's a like a almost like a doll needle. But what I did was I cut that little end off. And I also use these as my bridling rigs. Um, you can find the bridling rigs on YouTube. Um, for bridling, uh, for bridling bait. And what I do is I take these things here. And I, uh, I just try to put them in a straight line as best as I can. Just trying to keep them as even as possible. Um, like I said, this is going to be a little weird. Uh, I forgot one. Actually, I'm going to leave that one out just because it looks like there's a lot of these things. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run. Shoot. I'm going to try to get this down in through here as best. And it's really as close to the, the hook shank as I can. Just gently push it through. So you can see, same thing as if you were at bridling bait. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in my vise. And from there, I'm going to put these little things in that that cutout area and I'm gonna pull the thing through carefully and uh, and we'll see I'm gonna put that one back in hell I'll see what happens maybe it works maybe it doesn't I'm gonna pull it through I'm gonna try to walk you over there with me so you can kind of see what I'm doing it's gonna be a little bit uh Just please bear with me. Mm -hmm. There's my vice. Did I bring it with me? I might have brought it with me. Oh, there you go. Sorry. If you watch any of my other YouTube videos, you see I, I, I don't wear a shirt. I don't care. I'm fat. It doesn't matter to me. Um, basically what you do is you lock that on to a vise, bring this down to here, I try to turn it to where it's straight up and down, and then what I do is I, I just put these in here like that and I just pinch them. I hope this is getting it. You kind of pull it a little taut towards everything, try to, you know, get it a little bit even, I mean, as even as you possibly can, nothing, nothing crazy, I hope you can see that, focus, ah, there you go, and all you're going to do is very carefully, carefully just pull these through, just carefully till you just get get your little loops, which are right there. <clears throat> Forgive me, I have a little bit of a cold. Okay, so you take that out. 
get rid of my fishing stuff. And I I, <clears throat> I find that the uh, as of right now I, I kind of like the little bit of the longer the longer wings, <laughs> if you will. And you see how this you know is kind of come out and just unhook it like that, and then you just <clears throat> carefully start from one at a time. And you just pull it out. Pull each one out by one side. Now, if you had tweezers, it would probably be a hell of a lot easier. And you'd probably take some of the pressure off what you're pulling through. Um, and then you just easily pick out. Carefully. Because this is a little bit of a pain in the, in the sack. You just try to just start from one side, and you just pull it through, and you do it the other, and you pull it through. <clears throat> and then you just keep on, okay, that one came out easily, thank good. That's good. <clears throat> um... I'm going blind, so I'm actually wearing my reading glasses to do this. Wearing my reading glasses to do this. Um, I can't see like I used to. Which like really stinks. But, if you do it... Oh shoot. Alright, I pulled it through too much. That was my fault. <clears throat> but basically you get the idea. And, uh... It'll end up looking like that. And... So when you do this, like I would have had a few more, but I kind of screwed it up. But that's the, that's the general idea. It just is what it is. So, um, I'm just going to get you toilet paper. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, it's, it's simple. And maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. But I mean, even if it doesn't work, I mean, at least I tried. I just, I like making my own gear. So it's kind of fun. But that's the general idea. That's it. That's it. That's it. So I'm going to upload this to YouTube now, and I hope uh, it helps y'all out in some way or another. And I'm sure you could do it on a much bigger scale, too. I mean, I don't see why you couldn't if you got, like, some, like, bigger hooks and bigger everything. I don't see why you couldn't do it on a big scale. But I'm going to upload this now, and I hope, uh, you know, I hope it <clears throat> helps somebody. Um, please feel free to subscribe to my channel, Southern Fried Yankee. And, uh... I look forward to the comments. Thank you.